so, so yeah. my question. Okay. So I was wondering, what is your experience with Kundalini awakening? And when it happens to somebody, um, what is happening? What does it mean? Mm. Um, and what can we do to kind of go deeper with the experience um, to cultivate it? What practices mm. can we incorporate in our life? Listen, I spent two and a half years with Maharaji, sitting <laughs> around with him. Nothing ever happened. Wow. Nothing except love. Yes. 24-7, every day, every second of every day, nothing but love. And there was no jumping up and down, there was no kundalini, there was no meditation, there was nothing, just love. Mm. So I don't know what to say. Okay. I've heard about all those things. In fact, Maharaji said, I once, we once asked him, you know, how do we find God? Because he would never tell us about practices. Mm -hmm. he, would, he said, how do we find God? He said, um, he said, serve everyone. Serve people? Huh? What does that have to do? So how do you raise kundalini? Feed people, right? So either he doesn't know or he's talking about a whole other level of stuff, mm. which I think is what it is. Right. So that's not to deny that people have all those kinds of experiences mm -hmm. with energy up and down the spine and chakras and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. It's just that um, his way was different, you know? His way was different. Yes. He had done all that. He'd been in caves for years and years and years and done all those things. But, but he said, these people don't need anything. They can get everything through love. Right. So, you know, I, I read those books. I understood that. I was with Muktananda for a while. He did a little Kundalini thing with me. But, mm -hmm. but around Maharaja, there was nothing but love. Mm. So in lieu of that, can you explain <laughs> Why do you to want me? in lieu of that? Well, Don't you, you want know, the love? If, if you have nothing to say about it, <laughs> I have other questions. Okay, sure. Um, when I was in Vrindavan and I visited uh, Neem Karoli Baba's Samadhi Shrine, and there's mm -hmm. that little room where they keep his tucket or yeah. where he, mm -hmm. his bed where he used to yeah, sleep. Yeah. Um, my friends and I went inside there, and the moment we sat down and they closed that door, I was just overcome with what somebody later explained to me was like a Bob Samadhi. Mm -hmm. um, I just felt the love pouring in and was weeping uncontrollably, but it wasn't that's hysterical. I was going to ask you, that's, are they that's, related? That's the real Kundalini. That's the love, yes. Prema Shakti. That's it. The other stuff is, is grosser than that. Mm. So it's a really pure... Yeah form of kundalini because Absolutely. I've experienced it coming from you know the root chakra mm -hmm. and I've experienced sure. it mm -hmm. kind of downloading in mm -hmm. through mm -hmm. my crown and through the back of my neck yeah. and um, and it's very different yeah it is different uh, like I said I, I'm not in a position to really talk about it that much because I haven't had those experiences but mm -hmm. all I know is that when I'm in that love mm -hmm. I'm full and complete there's nothing yeah. more that can be added so, uh, you know, that's how I think about it. Do you think it's the divine giving you a glimpse of that divine reality or what, what's waiting for us on the other side? I, no, I think it's, no? it's the divine, which is our own true nature. Mm -hmm. um, we're getting a glimpse of what's inside of us already. Mm, yes, beautiful. Yeah, I don't think there's another side at all. Yeah. Just here. Yeah. All the time, but we don't see it. It's all covered when up. When I see the other side, I mean, when we leave body and yeah. we're no immersed guarantee. in it completely. Well, really? You well, think hopefully. that's what's going to happen? I'm hoping that's what's going to happen. <laughs> I doubt it. I doubt it. Really? That's, sure. I mean, the bardo, they say, is like a dream. But you don't have any control. Of, we don't have any control of our dreams. Why should we imagine that when we don't have a body to come back to, it's going to be all rosy? Mm. It's not going to be all rosy. It's going to be processing, just like we process every day, but we don't have a body to come back to. Mm. So it's pretty iffy. So, so wow, with that in mind, that, that can be mind. a little uh, nerve-wracking. Well, um. <laughs> the point is you shouldn't be waiting for that, you know, right, in any way right. whatsoever afford to think that that's better than this, or easier, or more full. It's not like that at all. Mm. What you experience every day, with the quality of your day right now, is going to be the quality of your day then. 
and as you go through your processing in this life right now, day after day, and keep releasing stuff and letting go of stuff and getting rid of the programs that are running and taking the energy from those programs away and, and getting your heart more open, that's going to be, that's what you take with you when the body drops. Right. So uh, that's the impetus to do the work now. There's no later to do the work. So they we always, shouldn't be wasting any time while we're here. Shouldn't's a good like, word. We, yeah, we're I know. good. We're very good at wasting time, and that's part of the process too. You know? <laughs> it's like you know, self-judgment is not useful either. Right. You right. Know? So it's you can't. There's no place you can stand to actually see where you're at or where you're not. You can just deal with every day the best you can and find out what works for you in life and which, what, what what connects you to what you want to be to connected to well, and keep remembering God, to reconnect. Where is that? Yeah. And what well, is that? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's not out there. There's nothing out there. That's, that's it's almost habitual to kind of seek it out there. Of course. Just because. Well, we've been, because we've been born in the West right. and, and we're attached and identified with our body, our emotions and our thoughts. And it feels like we're in a little in something and then that something is me and outside of me everything good is inside of me is all the shit everything good is out there but there really is no me it's just an illusion that these thoughts create as we th as we think we're thinking them mm -hmm. you know we're not who we think we are right. you know and you can't think yourself out of a prison that's made of thought Right. And every thought is the prison already. So, but you can't stop thoughts either. You right. can't crush them with your will. There's no way to stop thoughts. So you cultivate the ways of releasing them and coming back to yourself and coming back to that presence that lives within us as who mm -hmm. we really are. Yeah. Wow. The problem with all those Kundalini things is you really think you're doing something. And, <laughs> and, and that person who thinks they're doing something gets stronger and stronger and bigger and bigger instead of smaller and smaller. Right. And that's... The uh, ego. Yeah. That's wow. what it is. You know, uh, that's, not an, uh, that's not an across the board comment on all those practices. Because right. like I say, I haven't done those practices. Um, so I, I really have no way of judging them. And I'm not judging them, but I'm, mm -hmm. but I'm in my experience, um, it was all about love. Mm -hmm. so. I think that just stepping back to and, that And comment. by the way, Mirabai didn't do any yoga practices. She sang to Krishna. Yeah. And that was her. She merged in love. Yes. And that's your name, so. Yeah. Well, I was talking to, uh, I think it was Mirabai Bush, and she was. Oh, I'm just with her. Yeah. yeah, right on. And she had was talking about living into the name, you're given a name, and mm -hmm. I felt when my teacher gave me that name that I was finally seen, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. which was really nice. Um, good. It kind of gave me permission to be who I feel like I truly am. Good. And, um, but I, I just wanted to back up to, um, we were talking about um, how we habitually kind of reach outside of ourselves for like God is outside. Mm -hmm. and. I think so many of us are still looking for somebody to parent us, you know, and if we're seeing God as this, mm -hmm. like, you know, daddy or mm -hmm. mommy who's going to mm -hmm. take care of us and um, to or own judge that. Us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mostly we, 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 we're comfortable thinking that that being is a judge. Mm -hmm. And we have to do the right thing, otherwise we'll be thrown In out trouble. of heaven. Yeah. <laughs> There's yeah. a program that's running. It's not reality, it's just a program. Right. And, and then to own that that divine is within us, that we are the mother, we are the father, we mm -hmm. are mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I know what you mean, but truthfully, I don't even think like that. No. Uh, uh, I can't own that. that mm -hmm. own, it owns me completely, and when when by grace I am saved through faith, those are the moments that are real to me. Mm -hmm. But when the grace it reveals itself, I can't make that happen with my own will. I can just keep opening my heart and opening my heart 
and loving more and trying to remove as much of the selfishness as I can every day, mm. which is not a lot. It's very, the real work is, takes a long time. And uh, when he wants to, it, when it's right, it'll be whatever he, it's where he, there's a line in the Ramayana that says, we are always at every moment exactly where Ram has put us. So if we really think about that, if we accept that and really think about it, then we are exactly where we are supposed to be. And we can't make any mistakes. Right now, right. And it just, <laughs> everything that happens, of course. Mm. What's a mistake? That's just us judging a situation from our own selfish, self-centered perspective. Mm. We may suffer, but that's not necessarily a mistake. That's how we learn. Mm -hmm. It's the only way to learn is, is by going ahead and trying to live your life the best way you can and dealing with whatever comes up. Yeah. Yeah. And surrendering to not knowing what's going to happen next or That's right. why yeah. any of this is happening. Well, why is ridiculous, <laughs> but it's, it's easy. Surrendering to not knowing is a big thing. It's a really big thing. We really don't know anything. Yeah. What do we know? What can we do? Very little. We can't even get through the day without wanting to kill 40 people, <laughs> you know? And we think we're yogis, you know? Yeah. Give me a break. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, letting go of attachment is, um, we yeah. do make progress. Though. Yeah, and letting go of what we think is spiritual and what's not spiritual. Mm -hmm. It's just more neurosis, you know? <laughs> really. Every time you think you got it, you turn around and seeing that, uh, yeah. Oh, my ego has it. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, when, when a kid is playing, they're completely immersed. Mm -hmm. They're not thinking, wow, I'm really playing. This is great. They don't have that. We have right. that. Right. We have that all the time. It's this separation that, we, that happens within us, you know. But when, when we are really immersed, there won't be anybody saying, wow, this is great. I'm really immersed. No, we'll be immersed. Yeah. And present, fully present. There won't anybody no evaluative kind of meta story going on. We were chatting upstairs about that very thing of how like the problems with meditating and every time you think like, oh wow, I'm here and it's like, darn it, I'm mm. not there anymore. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's true. Yeah. Wow, well that's, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> We didn't talk about Kundalini, but we talked about some good stuff. Yeah, you know, one time I, I always wanted to, I had this vision of myself singing to Maharaji, right? Mm -hmm. And crying. So one day I actually saw, sang him a mirror by Bhajan, just sitting with him, and he was looking at me, and I was weeping. And then when I was finished, he looks at me and said, Why are you crying? <laughs> and I realized the truth. I said, So much love. But inside, I knew that was bullshit. Yeah. I was crying because I always wanted to be somebody who sang to him and cried. <laughs> so I wow, got over it. Wow, wow. I did it. Now I did yeah, Okay, now, now I can, can let go. On. Now I can move on. <laughs> it was so, I was so full of shit, you know, mm -hmm. even right in front of him. But he didn't bust me. Yeah. You know, he didn't say, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but, was, he, but in his presence, I saw it all, and I was able to just like go, oh, boy. <laughs> You're so lucky that you got to spend time with him. Yeah, there's no question about that. Yeah. But, uh, so, and he's... we're lucky that we get to spend time with you. Well, that's debatable, <laughs> but uh, if you say so. <laughs> yeah. He sent me back to America after two and a half years. One mm. day he just looked at me and said, Ciao. Ciao. You have, you have attachment in America. You have to go back. I said, Baba, I'm just learning Hindi. Too bad. <laughs> so, otherwise, I don't know. Well, otherwise, I would have died in India. Wow. Because I would have gotten so sick. I was already so sick. But I would have gotten sicker and sicker. And mm. because of my self-hatred, I probably wouldn't have been really dealing with how sick I was. And then I would have got really sick. And mm. I probably, probably would have just died there. Wow. But he didn't want that. So. And look. I mean, yeah. the gifts that yeah. have come from you coming back are well, immeasurable. All, a lot of us are really grateful. Thank you. But they're all his gifts, I, I yeah. agree. You know, I, I'm a recipient of those same gifts all the time, every time I sing, sit down to sing. 
it's, you know, I'm also there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Good. We feel Maharaji when you sing. Yeah, thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. I do too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Nice Thank to see you. Thank you so Maybe much. See you up Namaste. In Piermont sometime. Yeah. Right. So. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. Take care. Bye bye. Take your cup. <laughs>